Hi, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director. And I'm telling you, as simple as Power Director is, I'm continually impressed by how deep the program runs and how much customization you can do and how many high-level tools are in it. I'm just going to go over here to the Titles room. We select all content here so we can see them all. Some of these have graphics behind them, and many of them have animation of some sort. You can see previews of them as you select them. And many of these even have particle animation running through them. Now, you can modify any one of the titles by selecting it and going over here to the Modify Selected Title Template. That'll open up an editor where you can do a lot of really cool custom work on your title. Or you can select this option and create a title from scratch. And we're going to do that. Don't worry about whether it's a 2D or 3D title right now. We'll just select 2D. And here we can take our title and just they've given us a very generic title here we can do a lot of cool modification or build out an entire animated title that includes graphics and even a background if we want once we've selected our text area we can customize the text there are some wonderful character presets to give your title some unusual look and you can as you can see you can apply the preset either to a portion of your title or to your entire title if we'd like we can add an additional title by clicking on the plus T button here and we can call this subtitle here. And once I've created that, I can position it and you know change the size of it. Now these are the character presets. So I can go down here to font, paragraph, I can change its justification or I can change its size very simply. So there's my subtitle for my title. And here you have not only the option of grabbing the corners and resizing the title but if you grab on the top you can actually tilt it twist it to keep it simple I'm going to just work with one title today so we'll select that delete it now if you look down here at the timeline you see there's a dark gray area or a heavier colored area at the beginning at the end of that title those are for adding starting effects and ending effects now these are found under the effects tab here starting effects is a huge library of cool starting effects and you can preview any one of them by either holding your mouse over them or just click on them and you can see what it looks like when it's applied to your title now that's your starting effect that's how it appears on screen when you're done you can add an ending effect to it and that's how it leaves your screen so I'm going to just select that now this darker area on the timeline is the starting area for your title and the ending area and you can make those as long or short as you'd like. So if you'd like that animation to go by really quickly you just shorten that darkened area and now it spins in really quickly. If you'd like to extend it you just extend it and now the closing animation will go a lot more slowly. If I toggle these closed both my starting and my ending options. You see I also have special effects so I can change the way my title looks. I can set it on fire if I want. Now once I do that it's going to remove some of the effects that have been applied already. That's okay. There's my fire. I can make it sparkle. I can make it look like an LED sign or even a neon sign. So many things I can do to my text. In addition, I can add motion to my text. The program includes a number of preset motions. So if I go over here to the Motion tab and click that open, you see that right now there's no motion applied, but any one of these motions, say for instance this squiggly one, can be applied to my title. And now when I drag my playhead through here, you can see the title would actually bounce its way across the screen. Now I can change the shape and the position of this motion. In other words, I can squeeze it in, make for a very narrow kind of bounce, or I can figure out where I want my text, oops, got ahead of myself there, where I want my text to land, and I can move the animation so that my text lands right there in the center of my title. Now these are also modifiable. You can see what I accidentally did. These little dots along the motion path are keyframe position keyframes, and I can create my own custom motion path. I don't like to play with these too much because you get some pretty weird effects if you're not careful. But also down below here, and you can toggle this open if it's not showing, you can see the individual keyframes for those positions. 
So if I want my animation to happen more quickly, all I need to do is drag these little diamonds closer to each other. And now that whole bouncing effect is going to happen much more quickly. Now let's go back out here to the Object tab. And you see when we're under the Object tab, we have options also for adding additional titles, which we did earlier when we added that subtitle. We can actually add particles too. And there's a nice library of particles. In fact, it's all the particles that are available in your particle room. So you want to add flares, bubbles, lights. Let's go ahead and add something like Clover blowing through here for no apparent reason. And now you see throughout the title, this particle has been added and the particle is customizable too. So we can choose how long those particles appear, when they appear, just by changing how the clip appears here on this little timeline. So if I want those to come in there and end there, those are my particles. I can add graphics. You can add photos if you want, but generally I use a ping with a transparent background. And that gives you a nice backgroundless graphic. And you can also add your own background. So if I click on this, go over to some of my photos, I can select a photo and select how the program treats it when I put it in. There we go. And now we have a background also. So we have little bitty shamrocks blowing over this river at the same time as my little green title is coming in. It's not a title I, I would actually use in a movie, but we're just looking at the principles here, aren't we? When you're done, you can save it if you select Save As, and you can give it a name. We'll call this Green Stuff. And then that will be added to my title room. So it's under custom now. If you want to know more about all these advanced tools or any tools in the program, check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about CyberLink PowerDirector, the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate is your ultimate guide. And that's available from amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.